hey everyone in this video we will see how we can solve this particular machine coding question so this is a star rating component and we can give the rating by simply clicking on these stars like 3 rating 4 rating 5 rating and if you want to give 2 ratings we can simply click on 2 so now let's quickly see how we can solve this particular question so this is the code sandbox inside this what we are going to do is let's remove the unnecessary code first over here in src we can create a components folder inside these components i will have my star rating component let's quickly import it inside this app.js cool so as you can see we have imported star rating from here so now over here let's quickly create a function component definition cool so we have created this function component now what we are going to do is uh, friends as we can see over here we have total like two stars highlighted first so what we can do is and total number of stars total number of ratings we can say is five so let's say the limit is five we can say okay uh, we can also define it, it from props to make it scalable later and what we what else we can do is we can take a rating as well So I am taking the initial rating as 2. Now let's see how we can create the UI. So to UI I am going to run a loop 5 number of times so that we can have 5 star on the screen. Let's have a fragment. Inside this fragment let's run a loop. So friends we have run a loop over here okay now after this what we are going to do is we are going to have one span inside this okay cool so now to display the star i am going to click this function key on mac and over here i am going to type star so we are going to have this highlighted and this non highlighted star cool now what we can do we can pass this key property as index over here and what else we can do is we can make one handler also like on click so that whenever we click the uh, the star we can select it and to this handler we are going to pass the index and over here let's quickly create that handler So friends over here what we have done is we have created this function that is taking the index and it is simply uh, like uh, setting the state by doing i plus 1 because like when we are going to click on like uh, because in array the index start from 0 so that's why we have done i plus 1 okay cool. Now what we can do over here is we can simply have one logic that if i is less than basically if index is less than rating. then we are going to show this particular star or else this particular star so it will behave something like this let's see if it is working or not let's click on 3 4 5 yeah it's working so what is happening is when we click on like this third star so we set the uh, rating as 3 because we are doing i plus 1 okay and over here we are checking like we are running a loop and we are checking like yeah 0 is less than 3 yes so we are highlighting is 1 is less than 3 and this 2 is less than 3 so we are highlighting it so because we need to highlight all these stars okay one small mistake that we can do is we can do something like is like if i is equal equal to rating so what it will do it will not highlight all those stars it will only highlight the star on which we are clicking okay so let's suppose if you are clicking on uh, like third star or second star it will only highlight that particular star so we have to avoid this mistake cool now let's quickly add the css in styles.css 
let's have a star class i am going to give it a font size of 24 pixel now we are going to have a star as well as one rated class and we are going to give it a color of let's suppose orange we are going to simply have a rated class okay over here we can have span and this span can take a cursor of pointer cool now let's quickly add this css So friends as we can see uh, it's working fine and the UI also looks good when we click on 5 so all 5 stars are selected we click on 1, 1 rating, 2 rating so cool. So what we can do one more step is we can pass this limit from here like limit equals to 5 and the rating as 2 let's suppose and over here what we can do is we can do is props dot limit props dot rating or two cool so let's suppose you want to change it to like six so we can have six stars cool so friends uh, let's quickly go through it once we have simply imported the star rating over here inside star rating we simply have a loop okay inside which we have simple condition of like showing this highlighted and non highlighted star okay and inside this we have a css so this was the small practice coding question for front end machine coding round i hope you have learned something new from it if yes then don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching